<laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for this food and for bringing our son DJ home safe from Syria. Please protect his wife Gina and all our troops still overseas. <laughs> but most of all, Lord, thank you for making America great again. <laughs> Roseanne was ABC's first number one hit in 24 years. Today came crashing down for her and for the network that had just gushed about her during their upfront presentations after she took aim at former Obama advisor Valerie Jarrett with this terrible tweet that you can see up there on your screen now. So within hours, ABC released this statement. Roseanne's Twitter statement is abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with our values, and we've decided to cancel her show. Joining me now is Reaction Candace Owens, Communications Director for Turning Point USA, and Jason Nichols, African-American Studies Professor at the University of Maryland. Welcome to both of you. Good to have you both uh, with Thank us you. tonight. Thank you. Um, this is Roseanne's apology that she put out. Uh, before she got fired, I apologize to Valerie Jarrett and to all Americans. I am truly sorry for making a bad joke about her politics and her looks. I should have known better. Forgive me. My joke was in bad taste. Candace, is that should that have been enough or no? Well, it, it begs the question, why is it enough when other people say awful things on air? Why is it enough when Bill Maher uses the N-word live and it's not enough when she does it? The question I think that's on so many Americans' mind is not whether or not what she said was right or wrong. It is clearly wrong. Um, she should be condemned. But the question is why other people tend to be pardoned in these same situations. We saw this with, with Bill Maher. We saw this with Joy Behar. We see this with Keith, Keith Olbermann, who has said some disgusting things via Twitter and yet was able to secure a job at ESPN. So it begs a bigger question. Is the difference between right and wrong, liberal or conservative? No. Uh, you know, I think wrong is wrong. <laughs> just, just take a look at Joy Behar. You just mentioned her. Um, let's play this soundbite from February 13. It's one thing to talk to Jesus. It's another thing when Jesus talks to you. Exactly. <laughs> That's called mental illness, if I'm not correct. But so, Jason, she, she basically said that Christians who believe that Jesus speaks to them are, are mentally ill or have a mental illness. Uh, she also apologized. And last time I checked, she's, she's on the air pretty much every day. Right. And, and uh, her comments were terrible. But one of the things that we need to realize is this is a pattern of behavior by Roseanne. She sent in the exact same tweet about another African-American woman in 2013. Mm -hmm. So when you have a pattern of behavior. they knew that when they hired her at ABC. If, if you, I mean, everybody have, knew again, who they were but it getting, wasn't right? A, it wasn't a pattern at that point, Candace. It wasn't a pattern that at that That's point. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. No problem. <laughs> um, but, you know, it wasn't a pattern at that point. If you've done it over and over again and you have pictures of you as Hitler and putting gingerbread men into an oven, I think at a certain point we've got to we've yeah. got to take a stand. And the I company mean, I decided to take a stand. We all, you know, anybody who's been around, you know, the past 20 years watching Roseanne do her stuff knows that, you know, she is, um, they, you know what you're going to get. She's crude and crass and she says things that she shouldn't say. And, you know, it's completely up to ABC's dis discretion here. If They just, you know, they obviously made a decision that they felt that this was fireable behavior. You know, you look at Wanda Sykes, who called Rush Limbaugh the 20th hijacker, Kathy Griffin, who held a bloody severed head of Donald Trump. Um, you know, when, when you look at all this, it, it just, what I'm curious about, Candace, is that the, the prescription for punishment seems to be career ending. In, in certain situations, right? And then in other situations, it's not. Even Joy Reid, who, who made homophobic slurs, was one of the people who was asked to come on today on MSNBC and give her reaction to this, Candace. Yes, it's unbelievable. And I thought of Joanne Reed. Not only did she say homophobic slurs, she then lied about it. She lied about the homophobic slurs, said she got hacked, and she was not made to leave her show whatsoever. She is still brought onto TV every single day. And Jason, to answer your question, if you're saying that the difference is establishing a pattern, then you've not yet answered why Keith Oberin is able to secure a contract with ESPN. Have you did, read did his Keith tweets lately? Talk about establishing a pattern. He's been absolutely vitriolic, hateful, and disgusting, not only to our our president, but to any single person that supports him. So as I get, again, I ask the called, question, what uh, is the differentiator here? Jason? Uh, Candace, ha has he called anyone a monkey, which we know goes back to, uh, or excuse me, an ape, 
which goes back to uh, stereotypes that started during the antebellum period that have been, uh, you know, started with scientific oh. racism. Oh, so has it's a historical any, has factor. I'm just any? asking you on air. Oh, I'd like to know. I'd like yeah, to know once yes, and for all, what is the differentiator? Is it a historical it, factor? It, is it how long it's been said? I think, was Joanne so Reed's what, what exactly, homophobic slurs not been said forever since the again, beginning of time against gays? One of the things you have not established is whether Joanne Reed has been hacked. That's never really been established. But that's uh, what we're okay. talking she, about. Now, uh, we're she talking about ABC Jason, she basically admitted it. A Jason, ABC, hold on. Hold on. A hold on. Hold on. Hold on. She okay. did admit it. She, she admitted it and she apologized. She said, that's she said a person she did not that I don't hacked. recognize. I'm no longer like that. That's what she said, and, essentially. I'm paraphrasing a bit, and this Jason. And is, this is ABC's that is correct. choice. ABC decided that they don't want this type of behavior and this type yeah. of pattern to continue. I think continue everybody's saying they get and, that. And they've actually made a We get that. You're, you're, you're not decision. adding anything new here. We understand that. And we're not condemning ABC. We are so asking then what, clearly, what is, your point what then? is I'm, the differentiator? Why is it okay when Joanne Reed does it? and lies about it, and it's not okay well, when Roseanne well, does it. We're not saying do either is, forms is, of behavior are acceptable. It sounds as though you are. Is that's exactly no, what it that's, sounds that's as though you're saying. That's, 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 that's why I don't that, appreciate that you okay. very early in the discussion that, that I don't think anybody's defending what Roseanne Barr said. Nobody is defending not about that shit. I gotta go, yeah, so we have more time. I'm trying to understand why you are defending the actions of Joanne Reed, why you are defending Keith Olbermann. I'm trying to understand how that works in your head.